Look at it, boys and girls. This is the Tasty Show. We're going to have some fun. We're going to teach you about technology. 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 Stop listening. Make good choices. Enjoy the show. Fire! 
Hey, Shrek couldn't save the little calf. Who could? Suddenly, the little calf's ears perked up. Over the hum of the growing crowd, there came a faint sound in the distance. A soft rhythmic purr. But, but, but it The crowd turned and looked. The sound became louder. But, puff, but it chuff. And all at once, Otis put puffed from around the barn. He turned and hit it straight toward Mud Pond. Otis put puffed down the rolling hill and pulled right up next to the muddy water's edge. The calf heard her friends puttering purr and bawled. It was something like a hello. Then, to the sound of his gentle chuff, and the amazement of all the people in the crowd, Otis slowly began to circle the pond. He circled and he circled, and the little calf turned and turned, never taking her eyes off her friend. With each ring Otis made around Mud Pond, the muddy grip loosened until the calf was able to stumble out of the pond on her own. The two friends had found each other again. Otis led the calf right down the dusty road toward the village, and everyone threw flowers as they went, following them into town. It looked like a happy parade. No one needed a fancy blue ribbon to tell them that the calf was a special calf. Otis was a special tractor, and the two of them were special friends. From that day on, the farmer discovered that with Otis's puttering purr beside the chicken coop, his chickens laid more eggs. At milk time, with Otis' gentle chuff nearby, his cows produced more milk. On occasion, Otis even got to join the farmer in the big yellow tractor out in the fields. But often, at the end of the day, Otis would just sit with his friend under the apple tree and watch the farm below. The end. Ha, 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 ha.